Hey, hello guys. Uh, today I am going to show you the game, cat flying game. This is my code area. This is my blocks. This is for the sprites. This is the backdrops area. So now let's start. So the first thing, if we don't want this cat, we can remove it from here. Delete. So the first thing we choose the backdrops any of the backdrop you can choose it suppose the blue sky okay i will choose this now we are going to choose the sprite and because we need to create the cat flying game so we take this cat fly so now we choose the background and the sprite as i told you before you can make the size smaller if you want or if you might need the same size so you can keep it like this now we check the costumes from here you can see there are two costumes now let's come on the coding and the first thing as every time we take when the green flag click uh, now because we have to put the condition because if it uh, i click the up arrow she will go up or down arrow she will go down right and left so now here we have to put the condition and as you told uh, as I told you before, uh, we find the control and forever and when we ever we use forever, so we use if condition. Now we will go to sensing and we will take when the space press space key pressed from here. I make when I press up arrow one, uh, so it will change the costume like you can see again two costume now so we have a and b so why say change the costume switch costume to b or a so you can see now if i press up key now it's already on a so i choose b here so you can see now so like this I have to make the another key press here we will add one more code change y direction 5 or 6 or whatever so you can see now and I press up oh sorry it's going up because uh, as I told you before y means up to down and x means left to right so it's going up and it's changing the costume so now uh, just make duplicate right click on if condition and make it duplicate and after finish this if condition we are putting this here I change down arrow here I change the other case costume a and here we put 5 here we will put minus 5 so let's check now i press up arrow it's going up down arrow it's going down so until now we are good so now we come on left and right position again we take duplicate and after this finish if condition we put here we say right arrow if i press so it will be on the cat like a but because y was going up to down we will take x so change x by 5 or 6 or whatever you want uh, the same thing we do with the left here i press the left arrow and here minus 5 let's check now so when i press up down right and left so until now we are good uh, now i take the tree so it it will be look like uh, the trees are coming and going so for this i will go to sprite i will search the tree this is the tree now i take this tree and i put it in this you can minimize you can make it a small so 60 and here I put it okay 
so I say when I will click this green flag so it will when I will press the green flag it will be here because uh, see this position this location the x is 142 and y is minus 112 when I start this it will be on this position now I change the position 183 minus 109 it's on you so uh, 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 if I have to fix the position so what will I do I will take this and I will put it here so suppose I put this tree here when I will press the green flag it will be here when the game when the game will be start it should it will be here and uh, I can use my left arrow or right arrow or up down whatever we did uh, now what I have to do uh, once I will fly with this cat so it should be look like the trees are coming and going so what will I do I will go to e control and I will take forever and every time it will change this X position uh, so uh, change the position of X so change X by 5 let's check now see it's going on the other side so I will say minus 5 so you can see now it's changing the position and I can move my cat like uh, I am going on the different stage so now you can see this tree has been stopped but every time I want when it comes on this position again it will go to this position and come back again so it will look like it does uh, we are passing this area and so for this we will again go to control and we will use the if condition at greater than so sorry for this I will say if the X position will be greater than suppose uh, minus 240 then what will happen so let's say again it will change the position go to where is go to where is go to this go to the same position this like 183 and minus 109 so let's check now excellent it's working so now we put the some clouds here so I go to the sprite and I search cloud suppose I take this clouds and I set the position of the cloud so this is the X and Y so I will say when I will right click so this cloud will be this cloud will be on this position let's check now the clouds are there you can see so I will use forever block and it will change the position X will change the position I say suppose minus 5 because it's coming from right to left so I stop I play again so you can see now the clouds are moving here and there and the same thing what I did with the tree it will change the position again it will come back on the same position so we are going to do the same thing what we did with the cloud when the cloud will come on this position again it will go back there so for this we will use if condition and we will again go to the operator the same thing what we did with the tree and here I say that X position will be minus 240 then go to the same place 116 and 143 let's check you can see now the clouds are Uh, 
and okay now till now we are going good okay now we put some coins so the cat will collect that coins and uh, the score will be raised uh, how we will do the score i will show you but first we make the coin uh, you can download uh, the coin image from google png or there is the library online or you can create yours uh, on the paint so for now i have one of the image for coin what i search from google and this is the coin but this is too big so i make it 40 this coin i put it here and uh, what will i do for the coin i will make the coding when the green flag click it will not show it will hide once i click the green flag but after two seconds it will be show i say wait two seconds and after that it will be show and the other thing i go to control and forever and yani every time it will change the x position so i say change x by 10 so here we say suppose minus 5 and also we will put the if condition here so here again i take the operator like the tree and cloud but this time if the x position will be less than 240 if the x position will be minus 240 then <coughs> go to on the same position x 119 and 129 okay so let's check now after two seconds it will be up here and yes it's fine it's working here one thing we have to do because we set minus 240 so we do 240 and here we make y75 so when it will come this coin will come on this position so it will change the place after two seconds it will come now Uh, one thing you see here if x position greater than minus 240 oh less than minus 240 then it will change their place so now you can check after two seconds the coin will come and after that the coin is coming like we are passing the area that's it it's working now what i want whenever this coin touches the cat so this coin will go again here in this position and there will be the score it will add in the score so for this what will i do i will go again to events i will take the right click then i will go to control forever if condition i will put it here and i will say in sensing if touching the cat if the coin will touch the cat then it will go to the same position i take in this position when the cat will touch the coin it will go to the to this position and the score will add so let's check now now you can see now it's touching the cat and it's moving there now we'll come on the score 
So for the score, we will come to the variable option and we will make the variable named score for all the sprites. It's okay. So you can see now the score has been added. So whenever the cat will touch the coin, the score will change. Score will be changed. Yeah, one number will add in a score or two number or three number or five number whatever you want so when we will click the flag initially the score will be zero here initially the score will be zero also you can add the sound to the coin sound here let's search it for this Let's uh, see the sound of coin collected. Uh, let's click on sound tab here. We we'll write uh, coin. I think it's not here for the coin sound. We have to write it here. Okay, there is a sound. So start sound coin. So you can see now there is a sound and the score is adding. So you can add more coins and you can play like this. Also you can add the background sound it will continuously come except the coin sound because the coin sound will come when you touch the coin so I go to control forever and then I take the sound play sound now I go to sound so I will search it so I can check the sound, so this sound I go click on loop and there are many sounds you will find it. No, I don't want the sound. I click on loop again, I check the sound first. Okay, I add the sound, I come to the code area and I choose this video game sound. So, okay, now good, so let's play it. Okay, so that's it guys. So I hope you like this video and uh, if you have any problem you can ask me in the comment box or if you are new on my channel so please subscribe my channel for more new interesting videos. So till now I will finish and uh, in the next class I will show you about the game over screen. So take care. Bye, my son.